All right, guys, so Hollywood elitist Whoopi Goldberg had an epic meltdown on The View while discussing the Will Smith, Chris Rock situation, in which everybody in the world should know that uh, Will Smith went on stage and smacked the ish out of Chris Rock in front of the world during the Oscars, right? Uh, now, during this segment, they, they were discussing or having a conversation about the Hollywood elitism and hypocrisy associated with how some people reacted to what had happened right uh namely uh people standing up and applauding after will smith assaulted a man on <laughs> national television okay and during this conversation for whatever reason this really triggered whoopi okay because whoopi did not like being referred to as in hollywood elitist and she went on <laughs> a crazy rant uh, comparing being referred to as a Hollywood elitist to a uh, racial stereotype. <laughs> Take a look. Yeah. But then they gave him a, a standing ovation, though, Whoopi, which I think, again, goes back to why some people feel like Hollywood elites are a bunch of hypocrites, because they go out there and they give these, you know, these statements of moral, you know, superiority about things and political statements, and then they're, they're standing I'm sorry, doing a standing one ovation of those after people, he just As one of those shocked. people, I got to stop you, because You would have given him a standing ovation? I would not have stood up, but that has nothing to do with why people do. Have you, uh, let me ask you a in question. In the moment though? Let me, in the moment. So you're sitting there, you just gone, oh, no, you've gone, ooh, oh, what the, oh, 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 yeah. And you're up before you even it, know you've done something stupid. There was time in between. I'm telling you what folks have said who were there. But okay. you know, that's what I they're saying. Yeah. And I'm just and I just want to stop with this elite stuff because you know a lot of us work for a living. Mm -hmm. We work. We collect a check. We got families. We try to do the same thing, the good stuff that everybody else tries to do. And it really pisses me off when people start to talk about people who work in Hollywood, with just not not just actors, but all the other folks. So please, when you're talking about actors, be specific. If you if you're pissed off about somebody or how they act, don't put it on all of us, because that's like saying all black people like chicken. Well, right. I mean, this, nothing it's is going to work for it, but when you're, making, chickens, yeah, chickens and so when you're making millions of dollars, and it's <laughs> some, are make, what, like, some are making millions you know, of dollars, but not everybody. Average Americans look at that, and that it, it does come across that way. You well, know, but you know what, what I, Tara, you can't just you know, paint yeah. the whole Hollywood people yeah. with one brush. Yeah, so the number one way to know that you are, in fact, a Hollywood elitist <laughs> is when you get triggered by people calling out Hollywood elitism, <laughs> right? I mean, Whoopi is like the definition of a Hollywood elitist okay and uh it goes further than just the whole standing ovation thing at the will smith uh smack chris rock uh because i can kind of understand people getting up and and standing when you don't know what just happened right i mean look i mean people could have thought it could have been a part of the show i mean <laughs> when i first saw it i was like this got to be staged okay this can't be real Okay, but apparently it was, as we know right now. And, and I'm just saying, like, I can see why people would give a standing ovation uh, in the moment, right? Not knowing whether or not it is real. So I give them a pass for a standing ovation. But the Hollywood elitism goes further than that because Will Smith um, won an award afterwards, right? After he went on stage and smacked the host of the award ceremony, uh, they still gave him an award. And in fact, um, they didn't even ask Will Smith to leave. In fact, uh, allegedly, they asked him to stay, okay? And if that was any regular person like me or you that would have done something like that, that would have went on stage and smacked Chris Rock, the host of the Oscars, we would be in jail, right? There's no doubt in my mind we would be in jail, okay? So, yeah, I mean, that is the textbook example of Hollywood elitism that we witnessed at the award ceremony and the way Hollywood has handled this um, has been hypocritical because they're always lecturing us, society, mainly people on the right, really, conservatives, on moral standards, right? And what's right and what's wrong. But when you have a situation in which a man assaults another man on stage, you have people, Hollywood types, uh, not all of them, but some of them, uh, trying to defend a man, right? Trying to say, well, it's okay because uh, he was defending a black woman. He was defending his wife. OK, they're trying to excuse the behavior. OK, and the people that were running the award ceremony, the elitists there, uh, again, they excused the behavior. Right. They rewarded the behavior. OK, they didn't really want to punish Will Smith. 
So, you know, again, I don't really understand why Whoopi is getting so offended here. Um, because at the end of the day, um, she is an elite and she benefits from the elitism. I mean, listen, just a few weeks ago, <laughs> she's the one that went on national TV and said the Holocaust was not about race. Okay. Uh, she gets suspended and not fired when I think anybody else probably would have got fired for making comments like that. Okay. Comments that are very, very, very ignorant and offensive to, uh, a so-called minority. Okay. Uh, there have been people who have made comments about so-called minorities that are white, okay, that are elitists like her that lost their jobs, right? Lost their livelihoods. But she did it, right? She did it, okay? So again, I, I don't really understand why she's so triggered, except maybe uh, she realizes that what that host is saying, the, 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 the guest host uh, is saying is correct. And she feels some type of way about it because she has been one of the main beneficiaries of Hollywood elitism. Also, on top of that, it is very clear that she is out of touch, okay, with regular, everyday, normal people. She thinks that, well, just because I collect a check or just because somebody collects a check, that makes them not elite. And I'm like, yeah, well, there's a difference between collecting million-dollar checks and collecting, you know, $500 checks, you know, $1,000 checks, like uh, the rest of this country, okay? There's a big difference, right? There's a big difference. Just because you collect a check doesn't mean that you're not elite, for the most part, if you're at a ceremony like uh, the Oscars or the Grammys or whatever, right, and you're not one of these regular workers, um, you're an elite. You're part of the elite class, even if you're not necessarily making a million dollars a year, even if you're making, I don't know, a few hundred thousand dollars a year, okay? That puts you in the top 1%, and you're also in the celebrity circle, okay? You're in the celebrity circle. Now, you're not just like a, a doctor or a lawyer or, you know, just some regular person with a regular job that makes a whole lot of money. No, no, you're in a certain circle. What makes you elite is just not about whether or not you collect a check or how much money you make. It's also your network. Social circle is what you're allowed to get away with. Will Smith and, and Whoopi is a clear example of uh, what Hollywood elitism gets you, the privileges and benefits of being a Hollywood elite, okay? And I just love how she tried to compare being referred to as a Hollywood elitist to a racial stereotype, okay? I just love it. How she tried to throw race in it. Everybody there at the Oscars or all of Hollywood is elite. It's just like saying all black people eat fried chicken, right? Or something like that. And I'm just like, I think you're missing the point here, Whoopi. I think you're missing the point. But I'm not surprised because uh, she's simply out of touch, okay? She really is. She really thinks that when people talk about and refer to Hollywood elitism and the elites, uh, that we're talking about the security guards and the help. No, that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is the uh, actors, the privileged class, okay, uh, that apparently can just get away with anything, including assaulting a man on stage, okay? Uh, so, again, I I'm not surprised she doesn't really understand that because she doesn't really understand the Holocaust. And uh, <laughs> there's all sorts of other topics that she really doesn't understand. But they, for whatever reason, pay her uh, millions of dollars a year, uh, allegedly, to uh talk about those issues even though she doesn't really know anything about it again the textbook definition of elitism and the privileges that come along with it so let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace